Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video I go through how to use and update and customize dashboards. Okay, hello and welcome to my walkthrough of the dashboards in DHIS2. I'm going to be by myself today, so we're just going to walk through how to use dashboards, how to look at them, add to them, all that sort of stuff. So you can see here I've logged in as myself in the DHIS2 training database for Logical Outcomes. That's dev.logicaloutcomes.net. And I have a few different uh, reports that I have already populated here. I have a pivot table, a map, and a graph. And as you can see, I also have access to a lot of different dashboards. Um, on my on my homepage or on my dashboard app. Now each of these dashboards can collect one or more reports which can be pivot tables, maps, graphs, and some of these don't have any values because they're just built into the system because we uh, set up our training land instance here. So the logical outcomes dashboard that I have is what I've created for myself and uh, that I want to be able to share to other users at logical outcomes. So how did I do that? So first of all I click to add and if you have permissions uh, you can do that if not it'll be grayed out and they just enter the name of whatever you want and, and click create if you do that then it'll actually pop up as a blank dashboard here and it'll be in um, alphabetical order now the next thing is I want to add um, reports to it so how I do that is I can search so uh, I've named all of these things logical outcomes something and you can see here I have um, a chart, I have a map, and I have a pivot table. It's actually broken out for me. And uh, what I could also do is, uh, well, first of all, I can, I can click Add to add them uh, to my dashboard. Uh, what I wanted to say here is I can also click the cog and I can uh, isolate specific uh, organization units. If there's lots and lots of reports, I can isolate some or some trees so that it'll be easier for me to search. Uh, which is just a useful uh, thing to do. Um, once I click Add, um, uh, it'll pop up. So you can see it just pops right up, and then I can click Remove to take it away. And it'll be live saved. So once I do this, uh, I can just log right out, and it'll be saved so that this Logical Outcomes dashboard will always be um, this, what's going on right here. Here I have the last six months, I believe, plus the last five years. So it's a little bit of a, a mix-up here, so I could share an interpretation and say we need to remove the years from this pivot table if I want or I could actually just go into explore and change that myself if I want. Um, we can resize these if we like. This I can actually scroll down as you saw earlier, make it smaller, um, but I think this is an appropriate size. I can do that with all of them or I can change what order I want to be in. Maybe I want the map to be first. And of course they're all slightly interactive here on the dashboard. So this is a great way to just share all of your interpretations. You can pre-create these dashboards. You can have one user or a couple of users create these dashboards and then share them with different user groups like managers who might not want to um, deal with creating them. And how we would do that is we click the share button here and we can see we have access to do it certain ways. So external access is people without a login. They can see it uh, through a web API, for example, maybe. Public access is anyone with a login. Uh, so we do want anyone with a login to view this. And then if we want to search for, search for user groups, I should say, um, I can look for user groups. Do I have a training? Um, okay, yeah, I have training land and mins. So let's say that training land and mins, I click plus, and then that's a user group that I want to be able to, they can edit this, I think, anyone who's a training land and min. And I click save, and then any of those users uh, that are applicable will see this um, logical outcomes dashboard pop up here on the top. So that's how uh, we would share reports. And then um, on top of that, of course, you can access your interpretations, your messages, and your own profile if you want to add that. It's reminding me I need to update mine. Uh, but that's a great way to, this is kind of the end goal, I guess, the dashboards of all of your DHIS2, because this is where a lot of people are going to be seeing all this data that you've spent so much time developing and, and working on. And I think it's more about playing and, and setting up these dashboards as many as you'd like so that they uh, apply to your program, so that they apply to specific users, who wants to see them, etc., etc. And I think that's good enough for me now. I guess now you're free to go and play and explore on your own. So thanks so much for watching. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical 